Good morning from Marrakesh. My name is Ivana, and today we're really going to explore Marrakesh. Yesterday it was just a preview. Oh, you have to see this the rooftop terrace. Look at this. The sun is shining. Yes, my lovely. And over here, you can also sit. Look at that table. I love those. They're so pretty. And this is where I'll be having my breakfast. Delicious baguette, I have to say. I've been eating a lot of baguette lately. I need some fruit in my life or something. And some Moroccan tea. I asked them to make it without sugar. I hope... Oh, actually, I didn't today. I hope you remember from yesterday. I'll just try in a minute. And he's so sweet. He keeps giving me extra cake. But I can't, man. I can't eat this much. He brought even more food. Too much food, Seriously. Okay, let me try the Moroccan tea. It's definitely not as sweet as the other Moroccan teas I've had. I know it's tradition, I really know. But I don't like sugar in my tea. I got ready and look what I'm wearing. Ah, traditional Moroccan dress. I also feel like a princess. I feel like a princess. We are off to uh, Bahia Palace because I just heard from the from the front desk guy that it's open until 4 30 and it is already 2 30 so yeah i definitely want to see that come along my friends i just sat down at the most touristy place ever literally there are only tourists sitting here but i need to have some food man the view is fabulous though look at the mountains in the distance see Atlas Mountains, awesome. Finally, finally having harira and I think this is some kind of sweet and looks freaking delicious. Oh, crap. Uh, oh, that's hot. Okay. Failing, failing in life. Wait, just get the lemon out. <laughs> Need to stop filming. It looks like it's gonna work. No lemon in my head, you guys. Mm. Mm. Finished. Now let me try this sweet. It looks very delicious. So good. It's not crispy, it's not chewy, it's somewhere in between. But the sesame seeds, man, I love it. Mm. I love the fact that it's like dipped in some kind of sugar syrup, but it's not, you know, mushy or anything. Mm. So good. Wow. So good. We're at Bahia Palace and we have one hour to explore because it is 3.30 right now and it closes at 4.30. Seriously, Morocco people are so nice. I was just sitting in the cafe or just eating the harira soup and this guy was so nice and like in the street Look, my bag is open because of the tripod and this guy was like, no, 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 close your bag, close your bag I was like, oh, there's really nothing in there and then dumb <laughs> I heard such crazy stories about Morocco like um, women pinching girls in their arms in souk or something like that and Every time I come to a country and uh, where I heard these crazy stories, I just wonder, like, seriously, what are you wearing for people to behave like that? Oh my gosh. Because my number one recommendation always for women traveling to a country where there's a dress code is like dress like the local women dress. You will not stand out that much and people will really appreciate it. So you will experience the country in a different way than just dressing like you dress at home. Apart from that, where's the fun in that? Like seriously, if you can dress up in a Moroccan way, it's fun! Why wouldn't you do it? This is one gorgeous garden by the way. Wow, we look at this ceiling. I can't, it's so pretty. I love the lamps. Wow, another gorgeous courtyard. Wow, 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 wow. These floors, so pretty. Another gorgeous courtyard. I can't, this place is so beautiful. Look at the floors. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, million pictures happening over here.
Look at these stairs. I can't, I can't. It's so beautiful. Wow. This gate. Oh my gosh. This place is so beautiful. I can highly recommend you to visit the Bahrain Palace. It's awesome. <laughs> Our next stop is going to be Jardin Majorel. Uh, apparently that's a garden maintained by Yves Saint Laurent and it's supposed to be very beautiful. So, let go! These are literally the biggest strawberries I have ever seen in my life. Look at this. Look at my hand. Massive. I was on my way, but I am very, very hungry, so it is time for tagine. Tagine a legume. Tagine and vegetarian. Oh, so many delicious vegetables. Oh no, actually, this is couscous vegetarian. Even better. Somebody said the vegetables here taste so good. And I completely agree with that. It's completely organic and um, what else? I don't care. Delicious. Dude, look at this random orange trees. Just in the streets. <laughs> yeah, and there's another orange tree. They're look like everywhere. You can just pluck your own oranges if you want to. I don't think these are ready. <laughs> I have some bad news by the way. Jardin Majorel is closed. <laughs> it's past six. And it closes at six. Hmm. Okay, this is a tough road to walk on. <laughs> but um yeah, okay. Just gotta roll with it, right? I think we're gonna have a, a mint tea somewhere. Oh here. Okay. Sisuki. Here. Jardin. Majorel. Musée Bébé. Je suis désolée. I'm sorry. This is not gonna happen. Too bad. I really needed a little break and some Wi Fi, so I got carrot juice over here and I was wondering why did it take so long apparently they made it fresh oh it's mixed with orange juice mm -hmm. lots of sugar <laughs> I'm ready for it again let's go to the big marketplace Jama El Na it looked amazing in the pictures and literally everybody recommended me to go there like go and have some great food. There we go, the big square guys. Jama El Fna. And uh, so many of you told me just pick a restaurant, sit and chill and eat here. I don't know what's going on over there. Over here. But this square is massive, like you can't see it right now. But it's massive. Moroccan music! Guys, recommend me good Moroccan songs. I can make a Morocco playlist on YouTube. Love it. Now you get a better impression of how massive this is. Look at that. Sorry for the wind guys. It's crazy. Let's find a good terrace to sit and eat. View from above. Looks awesome, right? Love it. This is so interesting because this is a Muslim country. Alcohol is not very well available. But they have cocktails and like Super yummy virgin cocktails. Listen to this. Wait, wait, wait. Milk, avocado, almond, walnuts, dates, milk, orange blossom, honey, fig. Sounds delicious. <gasps> Rose elixir, orange juice, lemon, banana. Wow. I didn't get the cocktails because I've really had enough sugar for today. It doesn't make me feel very good if I eat too much sugar. So I got this hot milk with orange blossom something and I asked them without sugar so. Maybe the orange blossom 
Oh, come on, Asia. I don't know. It's just this, like hot milk. I love orange blossom flavor. It's so typical to Moroccan. You also have lots of cookies and sweets with orange blossom. Oh, so good. My favorite one is this triangle filled with nuts or something. And then I think it's dipped in a syrup, syrup or of orange blossom. It's so good. The food has arrived and seriously I love you Morocco. Oh, you have such good food. So we have here a soup of beans and a lentil salad. Look at me being healthy. Look at me being healthy. You can eat very healthy in Morocco. I love it. Okay, let me try the soup. typical Moroccan spices called za'atar or something. It's delicious. It goes so well with beans. Walking back home and oh my gosh, this is like a full-on Asian night market. <gasps> it reminds me of um, in Malaysia, Thailand. Freaking love this place. I just discussed with the guys at the reception we're staying one more night in Marrakesh. For sure. I really, really like it here. We also really should see uh, Esaura, the beach town and we should also probably go into the desert, but I'll check for that tomorrow. I just really, really enjoyed Marrakesh today and I hope you did too. Correction, massive cactuses are very fashionable. I have to give you an idea, this is my hand. If you did, put a thumbs up and if you would like to travel along and see more of Morocco, click that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!